Mr. Speaker, today I am tabling the bill entitled Domestic Partnership Act 2022 to amend the transitional period of the Domestic Partnership Act 2018 in light of the Privy Council judgment in the Attorney General for Bermuda versus Ferguson and others. Mr. Speaker, Section 53 of the Principal Act provides that a marriage is void unless the parties are respectively male and female. Mr. Speaker, Section 54 of the Principal Act provided for a transitional period, A, during which certain same-sex marriages entered into in Bermuda or on Bermuda registered ships will be valid, and B, before or during which certain overseas same-sex marriage marriages could be recognized in Bermuda. The transitional period was defined as a period from May 2017, the date of the Supreme Court judgment in Godwin and De Roche versus the Registrar General and others, until immediately before the commencement date of the Principal Act in the 1st of June 2018. Mr. Speaker, on June 6, 2018, the Supreme Court under Justice K. Willey determined that Section 53 was unconstitutional, but his judgment was stayed pending appeal. On November 23, 2018, the Court of Appeal upheld the, court's, the Supreme Court decision, though on different grounds and refused to extend the stay previously granted by the Supreme Court. Consequently, from that date, same-sex marriages conducted in Bermuda and on Bermuda registered ships were not invalidated under Section 53, and certain overseas same-sex marriages could be recognized in Bermuda. Mr. Speaker, on the 14th of March, 2022, the Privy Council overturned the decision of the Court of Appeal and determined that Section 53 was not unconstitutional. This cast doubt on the validity of same-sex marriages conducted in Bermuda or on Bermuda registered ships since the 1st of June, 2018, and the recognition in Bermuda since that date of overseas same-sex marriages. Mr. Speaker, the uncertainty or over the validity and recognition of same-sex marriages potentially has widespread negative effect on the rights previously enjoyed by the couples involved who were married lawfully under the law as it existed at the time and who may suffer the loss or interruption of certain rights and benefits. It is therefore not tenable to leave the act as it is without making the appropriate amendment. Mr. Speaker, the intention of the proposed amendment is to extend the transitional period to March 14, 2022, to confirm the validity of same-sex marriages formalized according to the law of Bermuda prior to the Privy Council judgment and recognize certain same-sex marriages formalized overseas during the extended transitional period. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.